Hey, everybody. We're back with Gail King and her very shiny dress. Now, uh, you have a weekly radio show on Sirius XM. Yes. What are you talking, what's the name of the show? <laughs> Listen to this title, Stephen. Gail King in the house. Okay. Drop okay. the microphone. You know that's good. <laughs> well, I know I like she's it. always in the house right now. Exactly. What, 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 are you, what, what are your stories this week? Exactly. What are you talking about? Well, so they came, they approached me because they said in this time of COVID, would you be interested? We just want a voice that is, um, the word wasn't soothing, but they, they said was normal, that could solicit both, both points of view on any topic. You're soothing. That, huh? You're soothing. I'm soothing. I want to. I sure. Want to soothing. But I mean, I'm 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 open to all sorts of conversations from all different points of view. Uh, everybody's terrified about COVID. How are we going to get in it? So listen, that's how it started, and it is COVID based. But you know, we're talking now about do we continue? I th do we continue the show? Because as you know, I'm a news junkie. I was talking about Michael Jordan's Last Dance. That documentary is knockout. I was talking about the Disney sing along. I was talking about COVID. What are you learning about yourself? What are you learning about other people? Uh, how have you changed? So it's every Thursday, every Thursday at five. You know what I want the topic to be tomorrow night? I mean, yeah, Thursday night, dating in COVID or oh, relationships right. in COVID. I think either people are either getting closer together. I know you and Evie are tight, so I'm not worried about y'all. Tighter than ever. I know it, I believe it, I see her. So either COVID relationships are either gonna bring you closer together or they're, they're gonna rip you apart. There's either gonna be more divorces or more babies. So relationships in COVID, dating in COVID, how's it going for you? What's your story? That's what I wanna talk about this Thursday. Um, before, be before we go, I, 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 want to, uh, I wanna talk about what, what uh, everybody uh, is doing these days. There's a lot more home cooking going on oh, right now. Are you next are you, question? <laughs> have you have you dove in next. first on this? No, you're not a Stephen, cooker. Stephen, I tried. Listen, I lived in this apartment for three months, and I turned on the oven. It wasn't working. I called downstairs. You know, all, excuse me. I you know I don't want to cause a problem, but my oven's not working. They sent somebody up, and they said, uh, Miss King, it's not hooked up. How long have you been here? I go three months. Oh, it's not hooked up. Is that the problem? <laughs> Anyway, so that tells you something about cooking. I walked in the kitchen, sure. I, all the appliances just sort of died. So I took it in my mind. I saw people making banana bread. I tried. I've okay. tried twice. I've tried That's twice. Staple. Tried twice. And? and? Not, not so good. It was in the oven. You take out, you stick the thing, and it comes out. It's still wet and messy. I know that's not good. So I think, Stephen, there's something wrong with my oven. I don't think it's me, but I'm done with the baking. Stephen, that's not my skill set. Please don't judge. I don't, I'm not judging at all. You're so I, I made some sourdough last night that you could drive a nail with. Are, are you? <laughs> hey, Steven, that ain't good. Are you cooking, no. really? Are you cooking? Oh, all the time, all the time. We, well, we're here with the kids, and uh, we, we trade off nights cooking. Everybody's got, everybody's oh, responsible for a different part of the week. Nice. So are you, guys, are you guys bonding more than ever before? I think your family was already pretty tight. Yeah, we're pretty tight. We, they, we turned yeah. out to be pretty, pretty good company for each other. That's good. That's really nice. That's a lovely thing to discover. Well, this is the thing, Stephen. So try quarantining with me, myself, and me. I'm sick of me, myself. I go and stand in the living room and wave at the birds. Hi, my name is Gail. I'll be here tomorrow. <laughs> or you walk by a mirror and say, hey, Gail, how you doing? So I do think that this is a tough time, I believe, it to is. be single, speaking for myself. I really wish at this point you know, I wasn't by myself, but I also know that said, I'm one of the lucky ones, knock on wood, I'm healthy. I have a job that I really like. I like the place where I live. So I can't have a cry for me Argentina moment. It isn't that. That said, I think everybody wants to share their life with someone, especially during times like this. You know, I have great friends. My children and I are very tight, but they're in California. Everybody I care about, Stephen, really care about is in California. I'm here in New York. I don't know when I'm going. I'm not getting on a plane. So I don't know when that will be. That's hard. Well, thanks for sharing a little bit of your life with us right now. You want to come get me, Stephen? I Can would. I come over to your house? I would, love, I would love to. We'll pitch a tent for you out in the yard. <laughs> yeah. I'm afraid you can't come in. <laughs> yeah. I feel so loved. Thank you, Stephen Colbert. <laughs> CBS This Morning airs weekdays at 7 a.m. on CBS. Gail King, everybody. Anniversary.
three. Yes. First year anniversary coming yes. up. <laughs> and when we come back, I'll do some crafting with our friend, Amy Sedaris. Stick around.